What's up, YouTube? Uh, I know I showed you guys this prepping area. Uh, this is kind of like the f kind of a work area. I sealed a, a a fish tank with with this table, and it, it was kind of easier with that. Um, rather working on the ground. I also uh, have been painting kind of inside. Uh, it keeps dust from getting on the pieces and then basically frees up uh, or you know just gives a, a good option to um, you know keep building and designing things um, right here is actually one of my projects it's a sifter that I'm making out of a um, heater kind of like a, a heater grill um, it's a real heavy duty. I'm going to need to go to the store and get half inch screws for that. But, um, this is my scrap pile. I have a shelf with some wood pieces over there, but, um, I'm kind of going to have to pull these staples out and things like that. Um, but this wood board right here is pretty nifty. Um, I'm going to put the can of paint here. I'm, I'm going to have also a, a paint, a painting tray. So, um, you know, I want to have to go back to the bucket and things like that. Um, so right here, I need one more piece that's 20 inches because I forgot to, uh, make something for the, um, for, for one of the, uh, barriers type things. Um, it's going to basically hold this, the sideboard. Um, it's going to have two sideboards. Um, on each end one's a little longer uh, I d I wasn't expecting it but I was well I was only expecting it but then I didn't really design it that way but it's going to help provide a front and back um, for the piece and this is pretty much the, the layout that it's going to um, be screwed or nailed together I'm, I'm preferring probably nails right now um, the only problem with this is nails do pull apart and things and I do have nails or screws I might put one screw in it I don't and one nail if if I could get it at a good angle um, to um, hold, hold this together really good and then it's gonna be really you know it's not gonna be like something from a factory or anything but it's gonna be um, it, and it's gonna look homemade so and I've got these pieces which are going to try to um, stand at one end. And the only problem with this is I, you know, I got to use screws because the nails will rip out faster. They pull out. Um, and also, um, screws, you could, you know, they're, you know, if, if it's going to be this compact design, I, um, they could be drilled in at angles too and then hold pretty good. It's just you gotta start them off with good pilot holes and then and then they'll just drill into um, things and hold better than nails um, at this point. But then there's some builds with nails that are okay. Um, but you just need to add extra support for um, for the nails from pulling out. So screws don't pull out as much. Um, so, uh, and, and they cut, you know, a lot of weight. So I, I just probably need just probably one more of these actually. Um, but I'm going to get started on painting this and then pulling out a lot of these nails to um, basically... basically have a better paint situation so I measured out another 20 inch one and um, it's really good I guess it's it's also with building your own stuff it's it's really time consuming it's in energy um, but you know it, it's it's okay to um, try and, and evaluate your your um, your situation 
if 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 um if it becomes more but um yeah th actually these um you know it the way how this is designed and how these pieces are sticking out um they're just they're not going to stick out from this way um but this 20 inch is going to um be tied kind of you know cro like a cross member there and then the handles are going to be on the side so that's pretty much why this is like this um and then i i've got to practice the angle cuts on this to make it more flush um and then the handles are going to be standing up in in between two two of these um 90 degree angles um hopefully and i've got two of those and hopefully um it's pretty good that i'm that i've started on this sifter because i'm because i'm doing a few projects outside and this is for kind of sifting the dirt and and you know maybe collecting the soil and the rocks and things i do have other sifters that that can do the same thing but it's not as large and plus i have the extra um hardware so later on today i'm going to be getting half inch screws and then i'm going to and the screen is going to be able to um to be screwed by half inches um so i can't wait for that and that's pretty much and then i'll just pretty much have the sifter um i would have wanted that to be foldable but i, I just don't have the skills um having a decent foldable one like that would would also be good um made out of aluminum um aluminum and then um besides that um this is kind of where i set it up at it's just on top of all this um plastic uh but yeah I, um i'm just trying to uh do other things so this is kind of like the, the final shelf that i'm trying to make i also was deciding and i have a desk like this inside of the office um that's by my bedroom so i kind of was thinking maybe having two of these same things and then you know with all the electronics and things uh you know tool shop stuff um that would be a good idea and it'll be easy to brace uh, you know with, with a couple pieces just on top um but yeah this basically you know gave me most of the ideas towards the, the workshop that i'm building and um you know the them there's the kind of like desk and then right here you know, instead of building a shelf, um, I, I can make a little futon or something, or not, can make, but I, I could use a futon or something, um, so, uh, that turns into a couch or something, um, but this desk is going to be where my couch is, so, basically, I've got to tip this couch over, and then actually have an idea to do something with it, and, it's, it's 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 I'm probably just gonna take it apart and get to the wood frame and then um practice you know building building stuff with it but I just don't really have the space um so it's gonna be hard because uh of the space and and the clutter and everything so most people that do get ha new houses and everything they 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 do want to get you know some decent furniture or something and but i just you know you know just and then after a while you got to figure out what's going on with the things i just don't really have that much time right now to to say what this is going to be I, I i mean i've got an idea but where it's going to go so 
it's going to be a tough one and, and what I'm going to do with it and it might just sit sit upright right here for a while um because once the shelf gets moved in I'm I'm just going to be trying to clear out the shed in the backyard and um you know free up the the small bedroom space so yeah this this painting table is pretty much all, all I wanted to show you guys um it's just made out of the headboard and I used a, a garbage bag that I had uh, that was used and then I just kind of cut that in half and then it, it became a good tarp to paint on and I've got other pieces of plastic bag it's really not much of a big deal but I recently just set up this this paint um this paint booth and then I've got a towel to, to try to cover up um and I've got a towel on this floor, but it keeps moving. I might put something better there. But, um, yeah, just having small towels, too, helps when you're painting. And then right here, I'm going to just put, put the, the um, paint bucket that I'm going to be using. And then I could tr try to paint these today. And, um, and then, you know, the next time... I use a saw, um, I could cut this and, and whatever else I need for the desk and then I could, and then, you know, I'll be back and forth cutting and then painting what I have to, um, but yeah, I guess I'll just show you guys me moving the paint bucket over here. So there it is, I've got the paint bucket here, kind of had to center it, uh, it's a pretty strong chair, so that's definitely a good job right there, um. And this is kind of the paint when it's dry. It's actually some roof patch, water-based protective coating or something. Um, I should try to. I, I need the the little thicker kind, um, which is the real roof patch. I guess this is a different product. Um, because the real roof patch comes in like a metal can or something. But this is kind of matching this paint, almost, and it's not that bad. Um. Um, so I'm going to be painting, uh, and this is just the stir stick that I use for this. Um, and then I've got a little plastic tray, like plastic food container tray. Um, so I could try to get some paint, um, you know, closer. But this isn't going to need that much paint. I, I might just even grab each piece and, and, and um, or something. But first, to paint it, you, you just kind of paint it on one side and then let it dry and then you gotta um turn it over and then you you paint all the other three or five sides and things like that and then um but the way how i i, I would paint is um if this wasn't painted was just getting them closer and then just doing a coat it's real fast um so that's pretty much uh most of this build and then with this piece I could wait until later and, and um kind of measure out these cuts I could actually just do it just kind of measure out the angle right here and I would just score underneath the marks and then I could just cut those real fast and then just paint it um so thanks for watching I guess uh you know, it's this kind of like the second, you know, the, f the first one was, was the hallway storage that I built. And this one kind of took me a, a little longer. I, you know, it was my very first thing. I already had these storage bins on top, sorting bins that I had found. But, um, yeah, I got it done just the same way. And um, it's pretty sturdy. And there's no real cross, cross brace anywhere else. It's just an arch type with this sitting on it and with this wood and stuff and it still stays pretty sturdy because I use strong wood the one by twos they, they tend to break too so it's real careful stuff um, to plan out if if anybody else is building so yeah I'll just um, finish up what I can and, and try to update my channel um, there's a lot of you know things that um 
that are after this and then I'm kind of keeping an idea out for that stuff so I'll talk to you next time and thanks for watching have a good night or day and I'll talk to you next time